What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zur is back for the weekend. We're here on the speaker side this time of the tower and let's see what Zur has for week number 3 of year 2. So here we go, here's his inventory for week number 3 of the Taken King. Let's start off with the Legacy Engram. So once again, don't buy the Legacy Engram unless you want a year 1 weapon. It will only give you year 1 weapons this week. It is a heavy weapon engram. So if you want Galhorn or if you want Truth, Thunderlord, all those year 1 heavy weapons, uh, you can buy this to get one. And it's mainly for collectors, I believe. So don't waste your strange coins thinking you're going to get a year 2 heavy weapon because it will only yield a year 1 heavy weapon. I know a lot of people have made the mistake and lost a lot of strange coins because they thought they were going to get some year 2 stuff out of this. But if you want to, you can do that and use your coins on some of these if you want to collect anything that you miss from year one. Going into the armor for the Titan, we got the Immolation Fist for the Titan. This is the Gauntlets, a new one, pretty cool stuff. So uh, the special perk on this is unlocks the Sunbreaker subclass node Explosive Pyre for free. And enemies brought down by your hammer explode chaining fire solar damage to other enemies. I believe that is the description of explos explosive pyre. And then we also have uh, intellect and strength on this. We have increased melee attack speed, bonus grenade energy on the melee hits. It has hand cannon reloader and shotgun reloader. So pretty cool. I actually don't have this for my titan. So I'm going to go pick one up for my titan since I don't have one. For the hunter we have the celestial nighthawk helmet. And uh, this is the year 2 version of it, so this one has, once again, intellect and strength. The special perk is exactly like it was in year 1. Golden gun fires one shot, delivering 6 times damage, and grants keyhole for over penetration. We also have more super energy from grenade kills, more super energy from special weapon kills on minions of the darkness, as well as bonus grenade energy from orb. So pretty cool. I heard Celestial Nighthawk's pretty good against um, Oryx in the raid and just dealing a bunch of damage with your Golden Gun in general in the raid. So if you guys want that, you can go pick it up. Or you can uh, try roll it for a higher value since you probably will get a 291 or maybe a 310 one if you're above 300 light and uh, get a better version or higher light version of this instead. And then for the Warlock, we have the Heart of Praxic Fire, one of the best year one Warlock Exotics. It has intellect and discipline on it this time. Pretty cool. The special perk, similar to last time, it has further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active. And they also added increased agility as well while you're in your Radiance, I believe. So that's really good. Gives you more speed as well while you're throwing all your grenades and meleeing. And we also got Scout Rifle ammo. We got Shotgun ammo to carry more ammo for these two weapon types as well as reducing incoming void damage and more armor when using a solar base subclass, so your Sunsinger. So that's really good. Um, this is one of the best exotics from year one. It's still a really good exotic. I'd recommend picking it up if you want a good Warlock exotic. And then for the exotic engram this week, we got the helmet engram. I believe he didn't bring one last week, so pretty cool. We're going to buy a couple here. Um, so I can see what I get. I'm actually over 300 light now, so hopefully I can yield some uh, 310 exotic helmets from this. So let's see what we get. Hopefully I get some, I actually don't have too many hunter helmets, so hopefully I get one good hunter helmet from this. And maybe I can get 310 version of a Light Beyond Nemesis, because I really like Light Beyond Nemesis. Also, I want to use it for Trials of Osiris probably. Um, at least in the beginning, so because um, of the fast revive and stuff. So maybe I can get a better version for that, or maybe I can get some other 310s as well. So hopefully we get something good. Let's see what we get for my helmet engrams. We got three. First one, we get a Lapion Nemesis. I'll look at it after. Next one, we get a Empyrean Bellicose. I actually don't have that one, so that's really cool. And then for the third one, we get... Another Light Beyond Nemesis. This happened, I think I got three Light Beyond Nemesis last time um, I did this, an opening um, from the Zer video. So this one is 290, unfortunately. We got a 290 Bilicos and a 290 Light Beyond Nemesis. So that was kind of unfortunate. I didn't get anything good. Uh, this one has Intellect Discipline. This one has 
full intellect on it. So, yeah, I, I can look at the perks later. But, yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Good luck on your engrams if you're going to pick up some exotic engrams. You also can get some three of coins to uh, get some engrams from doing strikes or the raid or beating any ultras if you want to test your luck that way. But that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.